right left stop right stop forward hi welcome to online tutorial videos from jcbro labs and for more information you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org we also provide online training and online tuitions on matlab python data science embedded system and arduino it is if we also provide help so, uh, we also provide help uh, to students in their technical assignments related to matlab data science control system arduino as well we also do freelance based project uh, uh, based on the technologies like uh, matlab data science python embedded system arduino and in the areas of control system image processing machine learning etc so this is a project video uh, uh, this is a project video in which we will be demonstrating a project based on machine learning in which uh, uh, yeah, the artificial neural network is used to identify the corresponding word in real time okay so there are several files in this project so you have uh, there are files to record all the data samples of your voice in real time uh, and then it also uh, include the code for feature extraction and etc so let's have the uh, demonstration of different files in this uh, different files in this project okay so if you uh, want these files of this project video then you can contact us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com so let's start hi so first of all we need to create a data set uh, of your voice samples so in this project we have uh, recorded five words and for each word we have created five samples remember this data set plays a critical role in the recognition accuracy of the neural network so if your environment is changing then accuracy may depend and the more uh, samples are there more could be the accuracy of your neural network and different samples if are there then that will plays a positive role in the total accuracy so here we are just doing it for the demonstration purpose only so for this case we have created this uh, MATLAB file in which it, if you run it it will automatically record the voices or uh, voice samples of yours uh, using MATLAB so as soon as you started you will get a message for starting and then you will uh, for speaking and then you will get a message to stop so it's keep on keeps on doing it and then finally it stops so let's run it forward 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 backward 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 right 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 left 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 stop 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 okay so the recording is done now as this recording is done all the files will be created automatically uh, in the folder and you can visualize all the files available here okay it automatically stores all the file in dot web form format now once this recording is done so you may want it to test whether the recording has been done properly or not uh, so we can uh, we have created these files which will uh, play back all the recorded files again so let's run it so i hope you may be listening uh, recording voices from speaker
so let's stop it here okay so now next is the feature extraction for this project we have extracted the mfcc features so we have created a file uh, with the name or feature extract okay so uh, in this we have created words record so what this file do it reads all the uh, sound samples available in the folder uh, in dot wave format it reads them one by one and then do sampling pre-processing and uh, pre-emphasis everything is done in it and finally it extracts the 13 mfcc features from it okay so after extracting those 13 features it creates a target vector and it also creates a train vector and then saves all those data in in a dot mat file here it finally saves in word underscore mfcc dot mat so you just have to run it and it will do everything automatically and a new data has been saved with this mfcc okay now uh, next uh, things which we is to train the neural network so we have used the pattern recognition neural network and then uh, that neural network we have uh, saved the trained neural network in the form of trained underscore and an underscore one and then we will be using this particular trained neural network into the test uh, work underscore m so here is this file this test underscore underscore m so if you will run it uh, you will get uh, uh, the recognition rate or recognition we will be speaking in real time in microphone and that corresponding word will be displayed here okay uh, so let's uh, run this uh, file test underscore work underscore m and see how it uh, work in real time okay so go to editor right right left stop right stop forward backward forward right right left stop backward backward forward backward right right left stop right backward forward so i hope you are convinced uh, it is uh, uh, giving a high accuracy and in real time and this accuracy is nearly 90 percent or above uh, most probably 95 percent uh, keep in mind the more of the data samples are there to train the neural network the more accurate uh, your program will be and it also depends because we are using MFCC features so it also depends on background noise how much noise is there how the data has been recorded so all those things so this could be a, a nice uh, starting project and uh, for learning machine learning based projects okay so if you have uh, if you want uh, this project so you can contact us at uh, www.jcbrolabs.org or if you want something other similar to this we can also modify the code as per your requirement and uh, you can again uh, contact us uh, or you can send your requirement uh, at our email id which is jcbrolabs at gmail.com so i hope you like this video or you like this project video so yeah one more thing we can do here so we can also test the offline 
uh, right we have all these files here so this was online so online are a little uh, tough task to so we can in order to get the accuracy of it so we can test it uh, as a offline method as well in offline what we are doing uh, we are reading the file and the corresponding word of the file uh, will be displayed here right so I uh, don't think uh, we are using the only starting words to display eh? so it is taking all the silence removal pre-processing MFCC features everything is being done here. and then finally we are uh, concluding that what word has been displayed okay so let's start with we are reading the stop file stop and let's say we read right in offline method it gives a hundred percent accuracy okay hundred percent accuracy means it is capable to recognize all the sample files which we have used to train it okay so let's take forward so in uh, while running this in real time uh, accuracy uh, uh, degrades a little bit but note that much okay back word i think it's less bad number, but yeah so if you take any sample of it it will recognize it correctly okay let's just go left and the other words so in offline method it provides uh, a hundred percent accuracy it correctly uh, recognize all the sound files and we test it again in real time accuracy address uh, little and you can understand the reason of it so stop yeah right right left forward backward yeah so in real time it is providing good accuracy as well near about 95 or above percent so again if you want this project files or uh, we can also modify the project files as per your requirement uh, because you have to run if you want to run at your end you have to record the sound. 